Good afternoon. I call to order the Knox County Beer Board for August Monday, August 26, 2024. Clerk, please call the roll. Commissioner Lundy? Here. Commissioner Durrett? Here. Commissioner Ulster? Here. Commissioner Ward? Here. Commissioner Schoolmaker? Here. Commissioner Hill? Here. Commissioner Lee? Here. Commissioner Beeler? Here. Commissioner Daly? Here. Commissioner Jay? Here. Commissioner Frazier? Present. All 10 members per Thank you. Um, I would like to introduce to my left is uh, with the clerk's office, Kathy Daly, and to my right is Director Moyers. I'll now turn over to Director Moyers to lead us in the pledge. Thank you. Do I have a motion to approve last month's minutes? Second. And a motion made by Commissioner Jay, second by Commissioner Frazier. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. We do not have any public forum. And so now I'm going to turn the meeting over to Director Moyers to swear in the individuals. All right. If you're here to speak to this board on any matter, if you're here on an application or if you're here on a disciplinary matter, please stand and raise your right hand. All right. You saw me swear or affirm testimony about to give me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Help you, God. You may be seated. The chairman has asked me to remind everybody that lying or misleading this uh, body under oath is a civil offense punishable by a $500 fine. Thank you, Director Moyers. Clerk, if you'll please read the first item. The first item is bread box number 47100 Taswell Pike. It's off premises, District 8. Is the applicant here for Arahadia Corrington Incorporated bread box? Just come up to the podium right there, sir. There's a switch. And there's a switch to your right on that box if you'll make sure it's on. There you go. All right, sir. If you'll give us your name and address for the record, please. Jignesh Kumar Dolu, 1189 Main Street, Wardburg, Tennessee, 37887. Do we need, uh, what was the last name, sorry? Dolu, D-H-O-L-U. Okay. All right, sir. This is an application for bread box number four on Tazel Pike. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Um, let's see. This is for off-premises consumption? Off-premises. Okay. Uh, have you or any of your employees been convicted of any law, uh, violation of laws regarding possession, sale, manufacture, or transportation of intoxicating liquors? No, sir. Or any crime involving moral turpitude within the past four years? No, Ten sir. Years. All right. Um, let's see. We know it's on-premises. Is there an old beer license? I'm sorry? Is there an old beer license? Was there, was there a beer license sold? Was beer sold here before? Yes. Uh, do you have that the old license? Uh, I don't have it right now. Okay, but do you have it in your yes. possession? It wasn't turned in yet. Uh, I can bring it in. Okay, yes, it needs to be turned in. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, are you, do you own these premises? No. Okay, you're renting? Yes. Do you have any uh, uh, other people that work with you in the business or part owners of the business? No. Okay. And who's going to operate the business? I am. All right. Are you aware that you will make no sales to minors? Yes. All right. Are you familiar with the beer laws of the state of Tennessee and Knox County? Yes, sir. Do you agree to conform your business or run your business in conformity with them? Yes. Okay. Health department? We, nobody. Sheriff's department? We have nothing. Sheriff's? Sorry? Sheriff's office has nothing. Okay. Uh, codes? Pending CO. Fire? Pending CO. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Do we have any questions from any commissioners? Commissioner Jay? No? Okay. All right. Seeing none, I'm going to turn this over to Commissioner Jay. I do need to tell you that you need to call the Department of Agriculture. So after the meeting, if you will see Ms. Ellis, she will give you that phone number. Okay. okay? All, right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, motion to approve item 6A as presented. Second. Have a motion on the floor by Commissioner Jay, second by Commissioner Hill. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you very much. Madam or Clerk, please read the next item. 
The next one is Pickleball Playground, LLC, 2018, Ball Camp, Vineton Road, on premises, District 6. All right, sir, if you give us your name and address for the record, please. Chris Rothermel, 2810, Ball Camp, Byington Road, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37931. All right, and this is an application for Pickleball Playground, LLC? Yes, sir. On-premise uh, consumptions? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, are you uh, in agreement you will not sell any beer to minors? Correct. All right. Um, are you or any of your, or I should say, have you or any of your employees been convicted of any law of the violation of the laws regarding possession, sale, manufacture, or transportation of intoxicating liquor? No, sir. Or any crime involving moral turpitude within the past 10 years? No, sir. Can't speak today. All right. Um, is there an old beer license? There is not. We are okay. a brand new company. Okay. And I'm told you need a, a business license. Have you gotten that yet? Yes, sir. And a certificate of registration? That's correct. Okay. Uh, have you been through the server training program? Not yet. Uh, have your have any employees are going to go through that as well? We're we're brand new to this, so I've got to obviously get uh, in all the information okay. I need. Uh, who's going to operate the business? I'm sorry. Who's going to operate the business? Myself. All right. Um, let's see. Do you own the premises? Yep. Okay. Uh, no other partners, just yourself. Uh, my wife. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. What else do we need to ask? Uh, Are you familiar with the beer laws and regulations of Knox County and the state of Tennessee? Yes, sir. You agree to comport your business with them? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Sheriff's Department? We have nothing. Okay. Codes? Pending CO. Fire? Pending CO. And nothing from the Health Department, so that's it. Thank you. Do we have any questions from main commissioners? Seeing none, um, I do have a note to for him to contact the Health Department. Do we need to still do that? Yes. Okay. Um, if you will get with Miss Ellis after, she can give you the phone number to get with that. Perfect. Okay. Thanks. Perfect. And I think we know we're going to find everybody in um, Carnes at the pickleball. I should place. hope so. Cool. That's so cool. <laughs> I'll turn it over to District Commissioner Hill. Thank you. Just a minute. It's warming up. Just project. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm very glad to have you in uh, my district. I drive by you all the time. I, I like already the improvements that I've seen. And who could argue with pickleball and beer? So yeah. <laughs> on, that, on that note, I'd like to make a motion that we approve this beer license. I've got a motion made by Commissioner Hill, second by Commissioner Schoonmaker. All in favor, aye. aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Best of luck with your business. Thanks so much. Thank you. Clerk, please read the next item. The next one is, I guess that's Ira at 8929 Oak Ridge Highway. That's District 6. All right, sir, give us, oops. If you would, please give us your name and address for the record, please. Uh, X.A. Patel, 9420 Westline Drive, uh, apartment 728 Knoxville, 37922. Okay. Uh, let's have a report from Sheriff's Department. On 7-29-24, at approximately 1907 hours, officers conducted an underage beer sale at the uh, Solway Stop and Save located at 8929 Oak Ridge Highway. The defendant sold a Twister T to an underage person. All right, sir, you've heard the, uh, the report. Do you plead guilty or not guilty to that? Guilty. Okay. Uh, you want to tell us what happened or give us any explanation? Uh, it's uh, not a great reason. <laughs> the thing is, I work all day. I went to the grab a food, and it was my mom was working to cover myself to grab a food, and it's already too late, and she already gave it to a minor. Usually, I like I have a partner, my brother-in-law. He works in the morning, and I work at the night shift, but uh, he moved to the Murfreesboro, so I have to. I'm looking for the employer, but at the time I don't have, so she was working to cover my shift. Okay, that's all I got. Thank you. Do we have any questions from any commissioners? Seeing none, I will turn it over to Commissioner Hill. Thank you. Um, did you have a talk with your mother? Yeah. She's crying, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, 
this is unfortunate, and I think you know we do take this very seriously, and I, I hope that you can quickly get your affairs in order and get the kind of help that you need. Yeah. Um, by law, this being your first offense, um, I am permitted to offer you either a 30-day um, suspension of your license or a $1,000 fine. I'll choose the fine. All right. I make a motion then that we um, accept his choice of a $1,000 fine. I have a motion made by Commissioner Hill, a second by Commissioner Frazier. All in favor, aye. aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, and the clerk will also send you a letter af after this meeting to okay. tell you how to handle it. Okay? Thank All right. You. Thank you. Next item, please. Next item is raceway number 6759-9002 Oak Ridge Highway, and it's District 6 also. All right, sir, if you'll give us your... Give us your name and address for the record, please. Sure. Uh, my name is Jamin Patel, and the address is 115 Grand Place, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, 37830. All right. Sheriff's Department, give us a report. On 72924, at approximately 1844 hours, officers conducted an underage beer sale at the raceway located at 9002 Oak Ridge Highway. The defendant sold a Bud Light beer to the underage person and did not ask for their ID. All right, sir, you've heard the charge. How do you plead? Guilty. All right. Do you want to give us any explanation? Tell us what happened. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so the 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. for us in that thoroughfare between Knoxville and Oak Ridge is our busiest time. Uh, there were two people working, uh, but one person was doing the register, one person was doing the coolers, uh, and, and they also just dropped the ball. We have a policy to scan the IDs, uh, but that policy has the biggest pushback with customers uh, regarding data, fraud, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, but again, that's no excuse to drop the ball and not to check IDs too. Uh, and, but also, uh, that day I think uh, another employee did say that we were checked twice by the sheriff's office. And I, and I think one time was, we passed this, the one time, we, they stung us on the one time. That's all I got. All right, do we have any questions? Seeing none, uh, Commissioner Schoonmaker. Thank you, Madam Chair. So some of your customers are pushing back when they want to buy beer because they don't want to show their driver's license? No, no. Like, so our policy was to scan the ID, like the driver's license, uh, but they're pushing back on taking it out and having it scanned for data reasons or theft, identity theft reasons, stuff like that. Uh, but I think at that time, uh, they may have uh, shown the ID or something, but the clerk was kind of hurry, hurry, quickly, quickly, because the five to seven is our busiest time at that time. Okay, but they, I mean, it, if you buy beer in Tennessee, you have to show Absolutely. ID. Absolutely, yeah, you yeah. know, and yeah. it doesn't that the electronics don't, you know, uh, archive that information. It just scans it to see if it's correct. It's right. So correct. if they don't want to do it. You just can't serve them. Right. And then, and then well, we just asked to manually check it. That's, that's our backup is to manually just check it for, uh, yeah. uh, like to, to do the manual uh, verification. Okay. And we have a sticker that says, you know, you can't sell before you were born on this day, 2003, uh, that we get from the WEID people. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Commissioner Ward? Just for clarification, the undercover cop wasn't giving you pushback. That's just a general statement you're making. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay. No pushback. Okay. And then he was checked twice that day? Yes. Earlier or after? <laughs> he was checked afterwards. Afterwards, and he complied afterwards. Yes. yes. Understood. Thank you. All right. Seeing no more questions, I will turn it over to Commissioner Hill. Thank you. So do I hear you saying that you don't require the scan then if people? So, so scan is our first option to grab the ID and to scan. But like, you know, if we have some people that say, no, I don't want to get my ID, then we just ask them to show it to us. But the scanning, the computer automatically does the date and the manual accounting. But if they show us, we have to look at the sticker 2003, look at the today's date. Uh, it, it adds some extra time. And 
you know, it, it may be a couple seconds, but for our location, like we're so busy during five yeah. to seven on that thoroughfare. I know exactly that's, where that's, you are. I yeah. mean, that's it's a mess. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but that's for us. Those few seconds are very important. I might just kindly suggest, since since it's your second violation within your three-year period, that you you might you might need to look at making that a requirement. Yes. Just a suggestion. Um, and I do see that you are uh, you have had a license for several years. Yes. Yep. Um, uh, we do, however, take this very seriously, yeah. though. And, yeah. and we we also have multiple locations too. And yeah. out of all of our locations, this was the one that's the only thing that, that's there. We have no history of selling it on other locations. All right. For the past 10 years. All right. And that's that's very commendable. That's very commendable. I, I appreciate that. Uh, however, it does sound like this location might need a little bit of work. So yes, um, please take this seriously. I'm required by law to offer you either a 60-day suspension or a $1,500 fine for this violation. Which we'll, one would you choose? We'll choose the $1,500 fine. The $1,500 fine. Very well. I make a motion on this uh, uh, violation that we uh, impose the fifteen hundred dollar fine. Second. Uh, motion made by Commissioner Hill, second by Commissioner Ward. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you, sir. Next item, please. Next one is Pioneer Market, eight one one nine Chapman Highway. It's District Nine. How are you? Ma'am, if you'd, if you'd pull the microphone down or whoever can speak, there you go. My, my name is Vidya Ben Patel. 8119. 8119 Champion okay. Highway. Okay. Uh, Sheriff's Department, let's have a report. On July 29, 2024, officers with the Knox County Sheriff's Office conducted an alcohol compliance check at Pioneer Market located at 8119 Chapman Highway. The defendant checked the ID and sold the underage person an alcoholic beverage. All right, ma'am, you've heard the charge. How do you plead? You guilty or not guilty of it? Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. It happened? Okay. Yeah, yes. Can you, you want to explain it? Tell us what happened? Yeah, yes. Do you want to tell us how it happened? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. She asked for ID, but... Uh, you have to speak into the mic. Yeah. Okay, he asked for ID because he is a little busy and no backside day. And yeah. he's the first time. She asked for ID, but she don't check the date. Like the... She <coughs> asked <coughs> Sir, can can you speak into the microphone so we? Yeah. Okay. What what she happened asked, here? Okay. She asked for ID, but she don't check the date. Like she checked the two thousand three, and she don't check the like the date. That's the reason. And she so she checked. misread the ID. Yeah. Do you have any kind of scanner program or anything that you yeah, can yeah, use? Yes, yes, we have. But she was forgot the time. I think. She didn't use it. Yeah, the time. Okay. She was she, forgot. She still worked there. Yeah, no, no, uh, not not no more right now. Okay. I was, I was fired right now. All right, that's all I have. Thank you. Do we have any other questions? Seeing that, oh, I'm sorry, Commissioner Hill. Huh. And um, is this a new business for you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, because your license is only about a month old. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. yeah. All right. Just wanted clarification on that. I'll turn it over to Commissioner Jay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Do you all understand yeah. what it means to have a beer permit? <laughs> yes. so I, I'm just I'm making sure I clarify. Do you understand about checking the idea using the scanner? Yes, sir. Because you've only had this a month. And if yeah. you come back a couple of times and you can't. We have the model. Sorry. You got to speak into the mic if you're going to talk to us. We have the model, the different location, but we don't have any problem. I got this first, first time, the, this one problem. Okay. So, Sorry. I mean, Commissioner Hill's right. You've had it some month. So if you come back and this happens again and again, you're no. going to lose your license. No, no, no. We have okay. got to do it no more. First time, no more. I'm scared. No 
All right, according to the beer permit rules, I'll make a motion. Uh, do you, uh, would you like to choose the 30 day suspension or the $1,000 fine? I can do 1,000. The fine? No, okay, I'll make a motion to impose a $1,000 fine on item number 7C as presented. Second. Motion by my Commissioner Jay, second by Commissioner Frazier. All in favor, aye. aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Yeah, thank, thank you, just you're like Commissioner Jay said, please be careful. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Clerk, read the next item. The next one is Lucky Star 3203 Merville Pike, and it's District 9 also. Ma'am, give us your name and address for the record, please. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rovina Franklin, 3203 Merville Pike, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37920. Okay. Sheriff's Department, report. On July 29, 2024, officers with the Knox County Sheriff's Office conducted an alcohol compliance check at Lucky Star located at 3203 Maryville Pike. The defendant told the, under, told the underage person that all she needed to see was the underage person's picture on his ID, but never looked at the date of birth. The defendant stated that she looked at the date of birth, but thought it read 2002. All right. Name you for the charges. How do you plead? Guilty. All right. You want to tell us what happened? Yes, sir. I've been running this business for past 10 years, um, since 2014 by myself, uh, with my father has been helping, um, somewhat, but, um, uh, past six months, I mean, this is personal excuse, which I didn't want it to come, uh, come up with, but uh, my mother has been going through health issues. So I had, I needed some help. So I had to hire employees and this is the second time within six months and I'm very disappointed. We go through all the training. I tell them every day uh, before I leave to scan all the IDs, but it's unfortunately that they're a careless mistake or accident, I don't know, but this happened. But I have to go through all this. <laughs> all right, that's what I have. Thank you, do we have any questions? Seeing none, I'll turn this over to Commissioner Jay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, does this employee still work for you? Excuse me? Does the employee still work for you? No. Okay. Um, she got so nervous, she started crying, and she said, I'll never work at the gas station anymore. <laughs> All right. Um, our beer board rules say that you have a choice between a 60-day suspension and a $1,500 fine. Which would you prefer? $1,500. $1,500. $1,500 fine. Motion to impose a $1,500 fine on item number 7D as presented. Second. Thank you. Motion made by Commissioner Jay, second by Commissioner Frazier. All in favor, aye. 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 All opposed, the ayes have it. Thank you. Next item. Next one is Smokey Brugs, Brugs in IC at 5904 Taswell Pike, and that's District 8. If you give us your name and address for the record, please. My name is Dilip Patel, 5904 Tazewell Pike, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37918. All right, sir. Sheriff's Department, report. On 7-29-24, at approximately 1656 hours, detectives conducted an underage beer sale at Discount Tobacco at 5904 Tazewell Pike. The defendant did not check ID or ask for an ID and sold a twisted tea to the underage person. All right, sir, you've heard the charge. How do you plead? Guilty. All right, you want to tell us what happened? I just started talking to him and just distracted and didn't ask him. Okay. Do we have any questions? Seeing none, I'll turn this over to Commissioner. Commissioner Frazier, is that okay, Commissioner Baylor? Oh. Sir, if I just wanted to make a comment before before turning sure, it over to sure. them, but I just wanted to thank Mr. Patel. Um, you you do run a really good business, and and you have a lot of customers in the community that I know for various thank reasons. You. And uh, I want I do want to commend you for your eleven years uh, of a clean record. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner All right, Frazier? Mr. Patel, we are required to give you the option for a first offense of a $1,000 fine or a 30-day suspension. Which would you choose? I'd pay a fine. Pay a fine. A motion to approve or motion to impose a $1,000 fine for a first offense for 7E. 
We have a motion by Commissioner Frazier, second by Commissioner Ward. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next item, please. Next one is Super Stop Market, 1325 Beaver Creek Drive, District 7. All right, sir, if you give us your name and address for the record, please. Brandon Stooksbury, 7915 Norris Freeway. All right, Sheriff's Department? On 72924, approximately 1739 hours, officers conducted an underage beer sale at the Superstop Market located at 1325 Beaver Creek Road. The defendant sold the underage person a Mike's Hard Lemonade. All right, so you've heard the charge. How do you plead? Guilty. All right, can you tell us what happened? Uh, first of all, we're, we're um, it's a it's an honor to have a permit, and we take it very seriously. I have children of my own, and um, there's no excuse for it, so we take full responsibility for it. But um, Randall just it was like like one of the uh, defendants said earlier. You know, the time it takes to you know pull your wallet out. It's not I'm not I'm not making an excuse. I'm just telling you what happened. The time it takes to pull your wallet out, turn it over, scan it. Um, in the afternoon, it backs up pretty pretty heavily there. So that's 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 what happened. I'm not saying it's right. We understand um, we understand it was wrong, and that we're vigilant about scanning um, now. So, okay. Thank you. Do we have any questions? Seeing none, I will turn this over to Commissioner Frazier. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I do want to commend you. you your beer permit was issued in 2002, and your first offense was in 2023, and, and now 2024. Um, I'm glad you do take it seriously. We do, too. Um, you, you do have a scanner. Yes, ma'am. Have you talked to the employee, or is the employee still working for you? No. Okay. We have talked to him, and he's no longer. Okay. There. Just don't let those pushy patrons, you know, keep you from doing what's required by law. Okay? I understand. Yes, sir. All right. So by law, for a um, second offense, you have the option of a $1,500 fine or a 60-day suspension. We'll take the fine. Take the fine. All right. Motion to impose the fine of $1,500 for a second offense on 7F. I have a motion made by Commissioner Frazier, second by Commissioner Durrett. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you, sir. Madam Chair, may I, may I make a, a brief comment? Yes. Um, I, I um, would just like some clarification from our law director. Um, I believe that uh, um, the record only goes back for three years on these. So even though it might be a very old license, it's possible that they have had many violations in the past, but they have rolled over. Is that is that correct? That, that's true. We, we're what's only we're not, what's on the sheet is just what's in, happened in the last 36 months. So there could be other violations in the past. Just all we look at is 36 months back. Uh, and I don't take anything away from going three years and having a, a clean record. That certainly is the minimum expectation that we would have. Thank you. Thank you. Next item. Next one is Weigel's at 9301 North Shore Drive, District 4. All right, sir, did you give us your name and address for the record, please? Yeah, uh, Brad Anderson uh, with Weigel's, 3100 Weigel's Lane, Powell, Tennessee, 37849. All right, Sheriff's Department. On 729, officers conducted an underage beer compliance check at the Weigel's 9301 North Shore Drive. The defendant sold beer to an underage person the defendant checked the person, the underage person's ID, but still processed the sale. The defendant said they were not trained on alcohol sales, nor had a service card. All right, so you've heard the charge. How do you plead on it? Uh, guilty. All right, you want to explain what happened? Yes, sir. So we new employee uh, was there, and of course, like we understand that it's a privilege to serve, uh, and we go through the class. We have the scanners. This individual was a new hire, been with us a week, had not gone through alcohol class yet. Uh, has been terminated, and we understand, you know, that we just can't sell to a minor. Thank you. Uh, any questions? Seeing none, I'll turn this over to Commissioner Ward. Since this is your first offense, um, option is a $1,000 fine or 30-day suspension? Uh, the fine, sir. 
I make a motion for a thousand dollar fine. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Ward, second by Commissioner Schoomaker. All in favor, aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There's no more business to come before this board. I call a meeting adjourned. I'd like to remind everybody we have a short executive session and small assembly, if you'd please. Right now, then? Yeah.